Michigan, ok. Ok. Oh my god, that's so full. How many people are there? At least 100k, 100,000, right? This seems bigger than actually Camp Nou in Barcelona. Oh my god, this is insane. What's a bit of it? Today I'll be reacting to the best traditions in college football. This should be an interesting one. But before I go into that, let me ask you for one thing. If you can leave a like, thank you so much for that. It's the best way to show support. If you can subscribe, oh man, you make my day. Now, one question to all of you guys. Is college football actually more popular than NFL? Because I don't understand that... Uh, very well, but uh, leave me the answer if you can, and also why, you know, because probably there is a good explanation for that. Uh, I understand maybe certain states don't have an NFL team, and that could be the case uh, why they like college football more, but in general, what's the main reason? Let's go into this one, and let's see it. Okay, I'm, I like this start. This seems kind of full, right? Oh man, the passion that people are showing. I like this. And now Asiola and Renegade set to okay. the nose. A tradition that Oh my god, no chance. Okay, this is Indiana, right? 100% Indiana. Okay, maybe that, that actually sounds racist. Never mind. Could not be Indiana. But uh, it, it would make sense if this is actually the Indiana team. Over 30 years ago here in I know this is not Cowboys. Okay, that was a bad joke. Never mind. A ago once again. Wait, is that Florida versus Florida? Oh my god, I may actually have to cut the, the Indiana part. Ooh, but I like this. The, the team is probably so, so happy, so pumped to, to see that, that guy doing that uh, type of uh, ritual or something. And this can actually even put some fear on the other team, but probably not. Oh, but if you are a fan in the stadium, you love this. Okay. Okay, is that an, an eagle or a, or a falcon? I, I don't know, to, to be honest. But this is, this is actually um, something that uh, my club in Portugal does it, uh, does it. Benfica also have an eagle that goes across the stadium bef before uh, um, the, game, uh, the game starts. And it's kind of beautiful. So I assume this is the, the same thing. Okay. Oh man, the stadium seems so packed again. <laughs> I love this. Michigan, okay. Okay. Oh my god, that's so full. How many people are there? At least 100k. 100,000, right? This seems bigger than actually Camp Nou in Barcelona. Oh my god, this is insane. Getting them back to kind of their roots. I've been in that tunnel, and I can tell you, when you're a visitor, there's a lot of energy. Also, there is a lot of money in college football. Because if you have all of those fans, you probably have a lot of sponsors, TV deals. Ooh, this is actually, and this is college football. This is to totally insane for me. College football may be bigger than baseball and uh, and basketball and hockey, right? In America, of course. And it's a very, very intimidating atmosphere. And with what they've done here in the last couple of years, it's got. Ooh, this is insane. I love this. Okay, if I go to America. I may have to watch a, a college football game. Probably even better than, than NFL. At least the stadium, the feeling seems quite, quite special. Do you guys agree with that? Okay. Oh man, a Roman. 
this is cultural appropriation. I'm joking, my friends. <laughs> this is probably what uh, a spart or something like that. A gladiator. Okay. Oof. That's cool, come on. Wait, okay, maybe I'm, I'm learning on the spot. NFL does not have this type of stuff. The things before the game start, maybe this is something that you get quite, is, is a better experience in college football. Because maybe it can be more related with the city. I, I'm making assumptions, but I think that they make, uh, they make sense. And, uh, oh man, I, I'm asking so, so many questions on, on today's video. But for example, players like Tom Brady, uh, Patrick Mahomes, uh, Aaron Rodgers, they played in, in college football or there is a way where you can go to NFL without playing in college football? This is probably a dumb question, but maybe there is a way that, that I'm not aware. But yeah, I'm actually curious. If they have to do this uh, bet, basically. Okay. That's that's amazing. <laughs> we welcome all of you to Baltimore, Maryland, for the culmination of. Co so we have uh, Mitch Navy Mitch Shipman versus Army Black Knights. Okay, this sounds like U.S. troops versus U.S. troops for some reason, but let's see it. College football's regular season with the renewal of one of the greatest rivalries in all of sports, Army versus Navy. Okay, I kind of was spot on, actually. Oh, oh my God, this is insane. Okay, what's going on there? I did not understand that. Know what time it is? It's time to turn the yellow jackets loose. <laughs> we didn't come here to play around. Okay, I kind of love the fact that you guys are so proud of of the US because. Well, you guys even, I mean, this is college football at the end of the day, and there is still a flag flying. I, I respect that, too, to be honest, my friends. Came to take care of this is crazy, right? And kind of dangerous. This is a buffalo. So this is the buffalo team. And the players are running. This is crazy. I love this. <laughs> I'm not even sure what, what's happening, but I like it. Oh, that's cool. Tennessee is one of only three schools with its stadium directly accessible by water. Not only does the Tennessee River provide a scenic backdrop, but it allows fans to travel in a unique way from all over the region to watch the Vols play. The Vol Navy began in 1962 when Vol broadcaster George Mooney piloted his boat down the river to get to the stadium. Little did he know. What? You can go to the stadium in a boat? That's insane. I'm saying it. That's insane. And genius. Know that he started a Tennessee tradition that would stand the test of time. 
Now, more than 50 years later, the Ball Navy fleet is home to up to 200 boats on any given Saturday. Arriving throughout the week, Ball Navy members polish their Sailgate extravagance to the team to prepare for game day. With all boats anchored together, you'll never meet a stranger on the banks of the Tennessee River. And he is coming out. Okay, that's kind of amazing. <laughs> I like that a lot. Nebraska. Okay. Both winning. The cameras have him. Okay. Maybe those two gentlemen are famous persons in America. I don't know them, to, to be honest, but uh, I'm assuming that could be something to motivate the, the team. Or maybe they are the coaches. It's unbelievable, Greg. It, it makes me want to cry. He has the coaching cap on, coaching jacket. Not in the suit and tie. He looks like the old coach. Much positive influence over so many people. And for one last time, he's going to lead a group of young... Okay, so this is, from what I'm underst understanding, this is a, a old coach that is, go is going with the team with the actual coach nowadays. Is that correct? He's a legendary coach, I would assume. Young men out onto Memorial Stadium where they entertain all of Husker Nation for one last time in 2012 and for the last time as Tom Osborne will lead them out of the tunnel and onto the field. Ooh, this is amazing. Ooh, the environment is amazing. Penn State without whiteout, whiteout. Okay. Marcus Allen. I like those fans. Oh, it's already over. Okay. Oh, actually, I was disappointed. I was enjoying this one so much. <laughs> That's crazy. Actually, I got disappointed at the video and up, uh, and up ending. Uh, well, thanks for watching. Like the video says at the end. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, my friend, if you end up enjoying my reaction. And if you can subscribe, check out my other videos. Well, again, thank you so much for that. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.